Hi, in this video, we're going to take a look at how you can stop or oh, set up your Samsung Galaxy Note 8 for the very first time. So you can say, you can see here, it's a getting started has never been easier. So starting up your phone should be easy, and setting setting it up should also be easy. So first, just going to pull out this cover, and we're just going to leave it there. And on the side here, there's a power button. So press on it and hold. And this will power up your Samsung Galaxy Note 8. So this is the first time I ever switch on the device. Um, this is coming directly out of the box. So we'll see how much battery it has left. So you can see here it says Android is e starting. And it's got 35% of battery left. And let's take a look. So I'm just going to tap on the start button. So on the screen here, it has this uh, curve, it looks a bit weird, so let's see what's going on. And then at this point you can uh, set up Wi-Fi, you can choose a Wi-Fi or you can simply ignore it and tap on next. You can also uh, connect to a Wi-Fi at a later point. I'm just going to go ahead and put in my Wi-Fi password and tap on the connect button. So after you have connected to Wi-Fi, you can tap on next and tap on agree to all and then tap on next down here. So, so checking for updates, this may take a minute or two, so we're just going to wait. At this point, you have the chance to uh, sign to the Google account, if you have an account. You can also uh, tap on the more option to create a new account. So if you want, you can uh, sign into the account. I'm just going to print the account. So print the account name and tap on next. And here we can print the password. Once you print the password, tap on next. So you may need to verify the two-step verifications. If you've done that, you can uh, uh, click on next. So depending on your account setup, uh, it may, uh, may require a two-step verification code. And you just have to follow the instruction on the on-screen. So here it says you have a chance to restore apps and data from one of these devices. Because with the old device, we have a, um, a backup. So I'm just going to choose Don't Restore, which is going to set up this uh, device as a brand new device. Uh, at this point, you can also set up uh, face recognition, finger scan, fingerprint scanner, uh, iris scanner, you can set up a pin, or you can just leave it blank, it's up to you. So I'm just going to choose No Thank You for now, and tap on Skip. So Skip anyway. So if you want to secure your phone, make sure you set up a pin or password, or one of the other options. And here is a... Uh, you have the options to uh, automatically back up the data device, um, Google Location Services. So this is um, for uh, locations, uh, GPS and, and so on. You can also enable improved location accuracy by uh, looking through the options. And then go to the end and tap on next. So now it's checking, it's a meet the Google Assistant. So you can uh, test the Google Assistance, if you want to use it, you can tap on continue or you can choose no thanks. If you don't want to use Google Assistance, you can tap on no thanks. You can always go back and set up later in the settings. So it says it's, uh, it's adding some finished touches. And here, 
tap on uh, next so apps will be downloaded when Wi-Fi is available so some of the options here so just tap on next down at the bottom and then you can also sign into the Samsung account or you can create a new one if you already got an account from the old device you can sign in so I'm just going to try to sign in Again, you can uh, put in the password and then tap on the done button at the bottom here. Once you put in the account name and password. So let's go to the next screen and just agree to some of the terms. So make sure that uh, you agree and then tap on agree at the bottom. And now that we are signing in, so again, it's going to send us a uh, verification code. So we're just waiting for the code to be sent to us. I'm just putting the code. Once you put in the code, you can uh, tap on the verify button down here. You can also skip the two-step verification code. So here, we have signed into the Google account and signed into the Samsung account. It's a good idea that you sign into the account because uh, you can use other features uh, such as backing up your phone to the cloud. And here we can uh, take the photos so that we can add our pictures to the profile. Uh, if you don't want to add the pictures, we can skip for now and tap on next. And so here, do you want to get your content from the cloud right now, like restoring? Or you can also use a smart switch to uh, migrate some of the data from the old device over to the Note 8. I'm just going to skip all this for now. Skip. And here it's got more useful features. Secure your stuff. Set uh, screen layout. And get weather forecast. So if we agree by default, agree to all is selected. So you can just tap on finished. And this will allow us to uh, move on to the next screen. So here we finally have uh, got it into the home screen. Now you can see it has some reminder here, copy content for all device. So we can uh, immediately start using the phone. So say, uh, do you want to update uh, Bixby? So you can tap on update to update it. So I'm just opening up my, turning on my device for the first time again. That black spot on the corner, it's still there, looks like it's a defect. So we just have to get it fixed. And that's how you can set up your device for the first time. So um, we have successfully uh, turned on the phone, um, setting up a few things such as a Samsung account, signing into Google account, and uh, connect to a Wi-Fi, and that will allow us to get into the home screen. And from here, you can always uh, swipe down and go into the settings to access some more settings in here. And that's it. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more videos.